This is question 2 and we're told that f of x is equal to 2 over x minus 1 over 2x squared, all squared. Again, x is not equal to 0 because we'd then be dividing by 0, which we can't do. And we want to know what the value of f double prime 1 is. So what this means is we're taking the second derivative of this function. So we're differentiating and then differentiating again and then substituting the 1 in. So, unfortunately, there's no shortcut to go straight to the second derivative. We need to differentiate once first to get f dash of um, x, and then we'll differentiate again. So, try differentiating this now. So, I've just written it out again, um, but in a slightly different way. So, instead of 2 over x, I've written 2x to the minus 1. I always do this because it's um, a lot easier to differentiate using the drop the power um, and multiply rule um, then if you have dividing going on it's a little bit more complicated to see what's going on so we're going to differentiate this okay so remember when we differentiate um, something like this we need to bring the power down the front differentiate everything inside the brackets um, and then have whatever the power one less than is so we have the two comes down the front we differentiate um, everything inside the brackets, so that's what we've done here. But then we also have the um, this to the power of 1 from where we brought this down and decreased the power, so we have that here as well. So let's just try and simplify this down a bit now. Okay, so I've combined some different things here. So I've done minus 2x to the minus 2 times 2x to the minus 1. Remember, when we multiply powers, we're going to add the powers. So we do minus 2 plus minus 1, which is minus 3. I've done the same thing for all the different terms. So the first two terms, the last two terms, and then the middle combinations. Sorry, the middle combinations. Um, and so we end up with something which looks like this. For example, this term here comes from x to the minus 3 times minus a half x to the minus 2. We do minus 3 minus another 2 is minus 5. Okay. So now we can do f double prime of x, which is actually a bit simpler because we've just got um, something like this now. We don't need to worry about the squared. So we um, bring the power down the front and decrease the power. Remember, when we decrease the negative power, um, it's going to become more negative like this. Um, so we end up with something which looks like this. See, now is the point when we substitute the 1 in. It wouldn't make any sense to substitute the 1 earlier on because then we'd just be differentiating a constant, which is 0. So we substitute it in now. Um, we don't need to write this anymore simply because all these x's um, are just 1. So 1 to the power of anything is just 1. So even if you made mistakes up here, it doesn't actually really matter. And so we get that our answer is 5, which is c. The most difficult part of this question is probably knowing how to differentiate this here. The way to think of it is that this bit inside the brackets is almost um, a mini function on its own. So we need to differentiate the whole thing. So bring the two down, lower the power, which is this bit and this bit. But then we also need to differentiate um, this bit inside by the general, which is this bit here. And that's why we get something like this.